Hey everybody, it's Captain Jeff from the uh, Real Guy Podcast. How about that? And in all our social media over the years, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or wherever else Lamont put us on, the phrase, fishing like a gentleman, was often mentioned. I met old Lamont at one of the old local yokel ramps and we headed to the destination. And I run around and I kind of struggled for bait a little bit, but I wasn't too worried about it and I think I put four in the well. I don't know if y'all remember all jacked up, but I was back there catching jack so much my hands were going to fall off. That was like season 2009 or something. How long ago was that, Lamont? Get totally jacked back here. Decent jack. Look at that. All jacked up. I ain't been that jacked up since I did the recording with George Copeland on the all new 2023 Real Guy podcast. You want to get jacked up? You listen to the Real Guy Podcast. Run that dog. <laughs> and there was a bait spot in mind that I had. When we first pulled up, a big school of bait raced by me so fast I could hardly even get the net ready in my hands. And as we go down the coastline just a little bit further, sure enough, there's another nice school. In one cast, like a gentleman, we have bait for the whole night. So we're marking quite a few fish on the uh, sonar, and this sonar is brought to you by the Real Guy Podcast. Now it's about four or five o'clock in the afternoon at this point, and being February and everything, um, me nor Lamont has even broken a sweat. The sun's not down. Everything's comfortable, and amazingly enough, there wasn't even any boat traffic. You see what's going on right here? This is Captain Jeff. Old school spots for an old school podcast. George Copeland, this week on the Real Guy Podcast. Snook legend. Been around these areas for 60-something years, getting lumpers in people's faces. He came out to one of the old spots with a snook legend, George Copeland, featured next week on the Real Guy Podcast. That's right, real guys doing real things. Run that dog. So we head to our destination and we put our first bait in the water and sure enough, we get a nice fish almost immediately. I'd say 30 to 40 pound fish, exactly what the doctor ordered. There you go. It's Captain Jeff getting lunkers old school spots. So as we looked around, we realized that there was quite a few fish around. But there was a gentleman I was going to meet out there at this particular fishing spot. <laughs> Come over here and reel this one in. <clears throat> so I've been smacking these fish back here. And this kid has been working on these yachts. He was uh, one of the film guys on the George Gods episode. And um, I told him, Oh, shit. I forgot I was on a big fish. Anyway, uh, he was telling me how many fish are back here. So we're going to go pick him up and let him reel this one. And he was working on a big boat in the back. And I asked him if he'd like to go on the trip.
So as I have the 100 pound fish in one hand, I'm steering the boat with my other hand. And I back into where the kid is. Now he's got a bunch of food in his hands and stuff and has to jump on the boat. And thank God he wasn't like an 80 year old dude or anything. He handled it nicely. I handed him the rod and then he proceeded to get this son of a bitch. Yeah, I seen him. He's grown one. Yeah. Anyway, good to have you on the boat, bro. Yeah, man. Thanks for the couple of years. <laughs> this is classic. I've been catching them on shiners, man. I was I was amazed the shiners would live back here. I, I shouldn't been be. Seeing some good snook too. They didn't want nothing to do with the shiners. The snooks are funny back here. Yeah, being on that boat for the past six months, I haven't even gotten in the water <laughs> on a boat yet. Yeah, I got you all the way. Good 50 feet from the Oh shit! Holy oh, shit! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Hold on to that son of a bitch! Hey, Everything yeah. got a little more real. I didn't realize that big. Oh! So none of us are really uh, prepared for a fish quite of this caliber yeah. until it started jumping. And then we realized we had a hundred plus pounder on it. That's right, boys. I might yeah, want to tighten your drag a little bit. I got a, uh, I, I kind of like a little tighten. Yeah, a little bit. I got the report from my dog over here. He works on the big boats out here. He was the film guy with George Gods when we did the episode here in Fort Lauderdale. And um, hooked the big fish. He come back from work. I wanted to get him out here, and now he's on the front of the boat fighting a hundred plus pounder. Yeah, we had a really good run at home in Ponds. Iowa BG. Getting tired of that thing. <laughs> I learned my lesson this summer chasing the shrimp boats. I started horsing them out into the boat and snapped my rod. I lost it right there. So. I didn't actually get hoggers, they're like kind of medium, medium to small. Starting the doggos cheering us on now. Dude, looking dogs get all fired up when we get back here catching these big fish. I'm the worst with, the, like, with all that technical shit. Yeah, that's back around for you. There he is. Yeah, that is. Bad before, I, got, I almost doubled a couple times. They're not eating crazy great. They slapped them around a little bit, but just pop it a little bit. Pop it a little bit. Ah, come on, fish, turn the other way. It makes your odds. It seems to be working pretty damn well. Feel it. He said he could feel him back here. Come on, big fish. 
Well, I gave the kid the rod, and he did a hell of a job, and he fought this fish on fairly light tackle. Whooped the thing in about 30 minutes. More fish than I ever seen in my life. Couldn't break and get a bite to save our lot of Towards his tail. Nice. Well, I'm gonna put the boat before he's gonna flop around. Dang, wow. That's a good one, dude. And man, was it something spectacular. We all freaking fist bumped and high fived. We let him go. Lamont and I took the nice ride home. As the sun was down, the temperature was perfect. We never broke a sweat. We got three good tarpon in about two and a half hours and went home like gentlemen. Run that dog! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Listen to the Real Guy Podcast.